Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So if you are new and finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by supplying them with the simple tips and tools in order to implement them into their life. Today we're going to talk about how to find the right counselor. The other day I actually released the video on when you should seek counseling and why it's a good thing to seek counseling. Today we're going to talk about the nine ways to find the right counselor for you right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So how to find the right counselor. The very first way is to get referrals like from family, from friends, from trusted coworkers, from people that you actually trust their opinion, and especially those people who been there and done that. And so they can give you actual feedback from said counselor, how it is, what to expect, etc. The next way to choose the correct counselor for you is to understand the things that you actually want, such as does the gender matter of the therapist or counselor? Are you looking for somebody that does face to face over the phone or like Skype or FaceTime? Do you want a long term therapist or counselor or do you want somebody that is laser focused? Let's get straight to the point. Help me out. Do you want a counselor that actually like listens with compassion or do you want somebody that's going to give you the tools to help you get this thing together right away? Just some things that you need to think about. So think about what you actually are wanting from the counselor. That way you know what to seek for and the things to look for when you go or when you speak on the phone to them. The third way to choose the right counselor is to actually take action. Start to reach out to some of these people right? Reach out to some of these people or at least write down a lot of the phone numbers that you have. Write down the addresses. Maybe you want to go and actually see them in person, see the office in person, but take some action. The next thing on taking action is to look at their website. And on the website, what you're looking for is not necessarily their um, credentials. What you are looking for is the testimonial section, because you want to hear what other people are saying about your counselor, about your therapist. What are they saying? How do they feel? What does the person actually do? Like, how are they helping them? Look at the testimonies on their website. So now after you have taken action, you have looked at, at you have looked at the website and you have absolutely wrote down some numbers or even visited these places. So then once you go in for your first session or even your second session, make sure you are getting what you want. So make sure that you feel heard, that you feel respected, that you feel listened to. Make sure, most importantly, that there is no judgment from the counselor. You want to look for somebody that's evidence-based, meaning they do not put themselves in your situation. They are the person who is outside looking in. And so they're only going off of the information that the two of you are providing for him or for her. They're not interjecting their experiences into it. They're not like, you know, well, women do this. So you're probably doing this or men do this. So you're probably doing this. They're actually listening to you again. So you feel heard. You, res you feel respected. You feel understood. Another thing that you want to actually look for when you are searching for the right counselor is, I, I talked about this in the first video, but you want your counselor to actively put you guys to work. Somebody that's going to give you some homework or some action steps, something that you and your spouse have to do together or boyfriend, girlfriend, or fiance, whatever. So something that you guys need to do together, some actions that you need to take because again, this is going to help build the bond. This is going to help with the intimacy and the connection. Because that's why you're in counseling in the first place, because you're losing the intimacy. You're losing the connection. And so you're trying to build all of that back up. And you don't want the counselor to do the work for you. No, that's not helping you. You want somebody that's going to basically make you do the work. The next thing is that you do want somebody that is going to be very supportive 
and they're going to actually believe in you and they're even going to give you like a little nudge or push to say you know what you got this you can do this it's going to be it's going to be hard work it's going to take some work but you got to do the work in order to get to the end most people don't like the process but you have to go back through the process because there was something missing which is why you guys are seeing the counselor now but it's okay as long as you are both actively wanting to see a change and you're both actively doing something about it. The last and final thing to think about is to give it time to work. Yes, give the counseling, give the therapy, give it time to actually work. If you don't find the right fit, the right counselor after the one or two sessions, don't stop there. Don't say it was full of bull malarkey. Did I just say that? I did. <laughs> Don't just say that it's full of bull malarkey and then just give up on it. Because every counselor out there is not going to be the right fit for you. And that's okay. But the right person for you, the right person for your relationship is out there. And just like you're seeking them, they're also seeking you. I'll see you guys.